Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now, this is the question. Compression based question means paragraph question. The capacitor of capacitance C can be charged with the help of resistance capital R by a voltage source capital V by closing switch S1 while keeping switch S2 open. The capacitor can be connected in series with on inductor L by closing switch S2 and opening S1. And this question is asked IIT J 2006. Now, first question based on this paragraph that is uh, initially the capacitor was uncharged. Now, switch S1 is closed and S2 is kept open. If time constant of this circuit tau, then option first A, after time interval tau, charge on the capacitor is CV by 2. Option B, after time interval 2 tau, charge on capacitor is CV 1 minus E raised to power minus 2. Option C, the work done by the voltage source will be half on the heat dissipated when the capacitor is fully charged. And option D, after time interval 2 tau, charge on the capacitor CV into bracket 1 minus E raised to power minus 1. Actually, this is, uh, you can see that LC tank circuit or oscillator. Okay. Whenever this is battery, capacitor and inductor, whenever S1 is closed, it means it becomes charged. And what is the formula of charging? That is uh, Q equal to Q naught 1 minus E raised to power minus E by tau. Okay. Here Q naught that is maximum charge. And whenever we have put in the place of T 2 tau, then we get the result Q naught 1 minus E raised to power 2 tau upon tau, tau tau cancel out, then Q equal to Q naught 1 minus E raised to power minus 2. And as we know that Q here, here maximum charge that is CV because maximum potential that is V and maximum capacitance that is C. So Q equal to CV into 1 minus E raised to power minus Q. Okay. So here maximum charge of capacitor Q equal to CV into bracket 1 minus E raised to power minus 2. Option B is correct. I hope so. You understood this question. Now next question on the best of this paragraph. After the capacitor gets fully charged, S1 is opened. And S2 is closed so that the inductor is connected in series with the capacitor then. Here options. A. At T equal to 0, energy stored in the circuit is purely in the form of magnetic energy. Option B. At any time T is greater than 0, current in the circuit is in the same direction. Option C. At T is greater than 0, there is no exchange of energy between the inductor and capacitor. And option D, at any time T is greater than 0, maximum instantaneous current in the circuit may V into root C by L. Now, according to the condition here, S1 is open and S2 is closed. Now, this become capacitor and uh, here inductor become series. And that time, we have to find out the maximum current. So, here we can see that here sinusoidal curve formed. So, it can be written as Q equal to Q naught sin omega T plus, let us consider phi is the phase difference, okay. So, here, differentiate with respect of time, that is dQ by dt and here Q naught that is constant and omega is the coefficient and cos omega T plus phi, okay. So, here dQ by dt that is current. And Q can be written as CV. Omega, we know that frequency is root LC. So here, substitute the value root LC. And the maximum condition, at the maximum condition, we can cause 
zero we can put here that is one so therefore i max okay its value is one <clears throat> c can be written as root c root c one root c is cancelled so v into root c by l that is maximum current we have find out so here i think last d option at any time t is greater than 0 maximum instantaneous current in the circuit may be into root c by l option d is correct i hope so you understood this question now next question based on this paragraph if the total charge stored in the lc circuit is q naught then for t is greater than r equal to 0 then option a the charge on the capacitor q equal to q naught cos into bracket pi by 2 plus t by root lc option b the charge on the capacitor is q equal to q naught cos into bracket pi by 2 minus t by root lc option c the charge on the capacitor is q equal to minus lc d square q by dt square and option d the charge on the capacitor q equal to minus 1 upon root lc d square q by dt square. Now according to the given condition here S1 is open and S2 is closed that time capacitor and inductor are in series that time we had using Kirchhoff's closed circuitor law. Here let us consider the potential due to the capacitor that is V1 and here consider potential V2 due to the inductor that is V2 and when S1 is open when S1 is open then no any input so therefore in there is no any input potential so we consider zero and uh, what is v1 potential due to the capacitor so it can be written as q by c and here potential due to the inductor then it can be written as l into di by dt equal to zero then q by c transposing this term now become minus l di by dt q equal to minus lc di by dt and as we know that i equal to dq by dt okay now substitute this value then we get minus lc d square q upon dt square so here let's see which option is matching here here option c the charge on the capacitor is q equal to minus lc d square q by dt square i hope so you understood this question Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely for your success all the credit goes to your hard work. But if my video will help for your success then I will consider myself lucky. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye bye.